Hello, I'm Mohamed Uwais. I cover the SaaS adoption partner business in East EMEA region. Um, I'm here with my colleague and partner, Mr. Jean-Baptiste Blanc. Uh, he's uh, the executive VP for Catalyst in Africa and Europe. Okay, you're a foreign company, opened in Africa and succeeded. So what did you do differently uh, to get all that success? And so Catalyst was created in 2002 to bridge the gap between the Silicon Valley and Africa. Uh, you know, proximity is a key to uh, make projects successful mm. and to support clients in the long run. So that's the reason why we decided to invest locally in uh, local infrastructures, local teams, local subsidiaries in Morocco, Senegal, uh, Guinea, Nigeria, Egypt, Cameroon, and Dubai. Opening subsidiaries is a good thing, but as you said, you, we need to um, uh, train and, and uh, acquire local skills. So we launched an education center back in 2005 in Senegal with the support of Oracle at that time. And we train young professionals to join both Oracle and Catalyst teams and to work on Oracle applications and technology projects. So with that base, that local base in West, Central and uh, North Africa, we were able to penetrate the Oracle applications market, become an Oracle Platinum partner, Oracle University partner, and also develop, of course, uh, skills on the cloud, uh, but also on the IoT side. And uh, we are uh, jointly working with the Oracle IoT product development to uh, bridge the gap again mm. between ERP and IoT applications. I'm interested to know in specific your cloud journey. I mean, you were one of the first partners that started that cloud journey with us and started doing cloud projects and servicing cloud and you know doing the whole thing so um uh, how was that transformation you know from you know the on-premise world to the cloud world in your company what did you do to be that successful and how was your journey with oracle on that thank you so before we you know the, before the cloud world was used we were already uh, in the SaaS industry in fact, we had our own tier 3 plus plus data center where we were hosting Oracle applications for some of our clients in Africa and Middle East. Um, so that helped us, of course, to um, um, start our practice in Oracle Cloud, not only SaaS, but also YAS and PaaS. So we've been using the same approach that what we had used uh, back in 2005 mm. to build our Oracle mm. business with practice locally in Africa. So we train young professionals and we got them certified and specialized on Oracle Fusion Cloud, financials, HCM, CX, uh, supply chain management, as well as on IoT applications. So as of now, we manage both in parallel our, our Oracle eBusiness Suite practice for on-premise or YAS uh, opportunities mm. and projects and also the Fusion Cloud. So since we touched now on the growth in the cloud, let's understand, you know, the growth that you see now in Africa in the cloud. And for you as Catalyst, what's your, you know, percentage of financial growth on the cloud for the last maybe couple of years and the, the projections for next year? Thank you. So, for the, you know, we started uh, working on the cloud on SaaS applications approximately two years ago. We've been able to close 20, around 20 deals, uh, 20 uh, cloud deals uh, during the past two years, uh, which is not a bad result mm. uh, for a start. And more importantly, our pipeline is uh, skyrocketing when we talk about cloud. Uh, so we expect the, the growth in number of deals closed and in revenue uh, booked uh, to grow ex exponentially in the coming year. Um, why do we believe in that? Uh, we believe in that because we've seen a change in the attitude of the clients. Mm. Uh, in the past, clients were a bit concerned about confidentiality issues and security issues in the cloud. Now they more and more understand the benefits of the cloud, yeah. uh, which are mainly to gain market share through innovation and ag agility, to reduce the cost and get better visibility on the IT cost, to implement faster and to uh, protect themselves against uh, cyber criminality. Yeah. So 
overall, we've seen a change of mind, not only in private sector, but also in public sector. And uh, for us, the most important aspect of the cloud uh, is that it is a vehicle uh, for other disruptive innovations like IoT, like AI, like mm. machine learning. And with the help of your team, Mohamed, I think we'll uh, be able to grow significantly the, the business, not only on the cloud, uh, on the Fusion Cloud, but also on the IoT yeah, uh, yeah. applications in the cloud. Yeah. So, um, great story from Catalyst. Thank you, Thank you very much. Um, we wanted more partners from Africa to be here and talk next year. So, get ready, go to the cloud, and talk to you next year. Bye, everybody.